From shocking new finds to examining unexplainable facts, here are some outrageous discoveries that researchers made which no one was supposed to see. Parasitoid Wasp Imagine that a creature uses another creature to breed like in the alien movies. Except this time, it's real. Well, parasitoid wasps do. As you can see in this clip, it punches its way through the caterpillar's chest to lay its eggs by tucking them in using its sting, taking only a few seconds. When eggs within the caterpillar's body begin to hatch, they start eating the poor creature from within until they start coming out from all over. At one point, the caterpillar dies and these wasps slowly hatch out from it. Once a male wasp is out, it waits for a female and the cycle goes on. It is said that 70% of caterpillars face the same fate. Now, how scary would it be if these creatures would target humans? Water Striders In 2019, researchers from the Zoological Survey of India announced the discovery of several species of this creature. They relax in slow-moving streams with their long legs that spread out their weight and help them move on the water surface without sinking. They are easy to spot because they create circular waves on the surface of the water. With such a talent, they primarily hunt and scavenge other insects trapped by the surface tension of the water. As you can see in the clip, how this caddisfly falls into an inescapable death trap of a strider. The strider uses its tube-shaped proboscis to penetrate their prey's exoskeleton, inject digestive enzymes, and suck out the prey's pre-digested innards. Emerald Cockroach Wasp As colorful as these wasps may look, it has an actual mind-controlling serum for its prey. As you can see in the clip, a female wasp sneaks closer to a cockroach until it stings the roach to begin the ritual. The first strike paralyzes the front legs of the roach, which traps the prey, followed by another sting, where this wasp injects the mind-controlling serum directly into the brain of the roach to control the escape reflex, after which it uses the very antenna of the roach to move them into their nest. New Bird of Paradise Species If you thought birds aren't weird, well, this new species of birds of paradise would surely change your mind. This is the male Volgokop superb bird of paradise, found in western New Guinea. These species were originally thought to be the same bird as the famous smiley face superb bird of paradise. But recent observations revealed that their courtship characteristics are not the same. What might that be? Its black cape is less oval, and the blue breast feathers look more like a frowny face. Its courtship dance is less bouncy when it circles a potential mate. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology has been conducting thorough research into the bird of paradise species for eight years. Leafcutter ants. Nope, they don't eat leaves, but then why carry them? Just as farming was the origin for human civilization, it's pretty much the same for the ants. Researchers managed to document the ants' cycle of growing white tufts of nutritious fungus to feed offspring. After collecting the best leaves from trees, the ants clean and cut them into little pieces while placing them in sacks. They compost the leaves with a little of their own poop and spread spores around to make fungus grow, which is highly nutritious and is fed to the colony's offspring. Leafcutter ants can pluck the best leaves from an entire tree in a matter of hours and have the most complex division of labor of any ants from Texas to South America. They have their own underground cities with workers and huge half-inch soldiers to patrol them. The Kissing Bug Obviously, these words don't go well together. It's called what it's called, as they are notorious for feeding from the lips of humans or any other living creatures with soft lips. These insects thrive in hot, humid temperatures and seek hosts to feed on. Like mosquitoes, they can detect even the lowest levels of carbon dioxide and light. 
These creatures carry parasites in its body that are potentially dangerous enough to cause life-threatening diseases, with Chagas disease being the most common. It starts off with mild pain, swelling, and a headache. The diseases can further escalate if left untreated and increase the risk of cardiac arrest, followed by death. Assassin Spiders they hire themselves to kill their own kind after they find out that they're good with the webs. Assassin spiders, also called pelican spiders, hunt other spiders by plucking at their webs to lure the prey closer, and then using long necks and jaws to hold them at a distance. They were first known from 40 million year old amber fossils, which were found in Europe in the 1840s. These species were not known to have living varieties until 1881, when the first of its kind was found in Madagascar. They were once thought to be extinct, but have been found alive and thriving in Madagascar, South Africa, and Australia. New Bat Species Found in Africa In 2018, Researchers from the Museum and Bat Conservation International found a new bat species in West Africa. As soon as they looked at it, they knew that it was something new. None of the known bats looked anything like it, and it did not match the descriptions of any other species that they knew occurred in the area. This new species of a striking orange and black bat from the Nimba Mountains has been given the name Sky Islands. Experts are still learning about this new species, and a lot remains to be revealed. Physarum polycephalum Could this be a real-life venom-like alien goo? Polycephalum is a unicellular organism, popularly known as the blob. It is incredibly intelligent, despite not having a physical brain. It can find and pass through the shortest route in a maze to a food source. It doesn't always crawl, as researchers discover that at times, it can even get airborne. This organism is used as a model organism for research into motility, cellular differentiation, chemotaxis, cellular compatibility, and the cell cycle. Not much is known about it, as researchers are still learning more about this interesting creature. Sociable Weavers Unlike most birds, weavers surely understood the benefits of a joint family system, hence the name social weavers. Researchers were shocked when they first found out how neighborly these birds are. Just as any good real estate is all about location, these birds are found in southern Africa where everything is available, from water to spiky trees, keeping the predators away. They build huge communal nests and live together, giving them an excellent home security system with more eyes watching out for danger. Fluffy Insect These little white fuzzy things you might have seen flying around and sticking to things over the last few weeks aren't random cotton pieces flowing in the air. They're bugs. These fluffy white bugs are called Asian woolly hackberry aphids and typically appear in the upper south region of the United States and often sighted in much of Asia. According to the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources, these creatures are sap-sucking insects and don't cause harm to humans, but they do produce a sticky substance known as honeydew, which makes them a nuisance to homeowners. Mongatua Stonefly the species was first discovered in 2019 by researchers from the University of Otago in New Zealand, below the summit of Mount Mungachua, a mountain which overlooks Dunedin Airport. According to its DNA, they have been isolated from other species for over 2 million years. These creatures have wings, but can't fly. Researchers believe that due to this reason, the adult males of the species are about 2 centimeters in length, with a dark brown to black body, and their legs are striped with a yellow to light brown color. The wings are dark brown in color with a small yellow spot. Nymphs at the final instar stage are between 13.2 and 17.6 millimeters in length. They are thick set with a finely serrated notum. 
no adult females of the species have yet been observed. Winged Drosophila If you thought the flies were annoying, their winged cousins are way worse. As strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries are ripening in the field, this fly saws into them and lays her eggs inside. They use a long tool called an ovipositor at the back of their bodies. It has two rows of teeth that they dig into firm fruit while it's still on the bush. The maggots that grow from the eggs turn it into a mushy mess, and it never makes it to market. Winged Drosophila are originally from East Asia and have spread around the world, helped in part by their ability to survive through a cold winter. To protect crops, farmers have to spray insecticides to kill them, but a less toxic option was adopted by the researchers, which is to use the parasitoid wasp from earlier. Popcorn Beach Definitely another ideal place for your next Instagram post. Popcorn Beach, or Playa de Bajo de la Burra, as it is originally called, is not your typical beach full of rocks, pebbles, or sand, but actually covered in popcorn. This interesting beach is located on a small island, Fuerteventura, southwest of Morocco. Is that actually popcorn? Well, not really. Researchers found it to be small, white algae fossils that cover much of the coast and look exactly like the puffy popcorn that we so love. These marine algae are called rotoliths, and although initially red in color, they turn white over time. The waves push them ashore, also giving them their unique shape. This natural phenomenon can be observed in other beaches too, but Popcorn Beach in Fuerteventura is one of the most impressive. Human-like species Naledi discovered. Whoever first said humans evolved from monkeys could be right. In 2015, researchers discovered a new human-like species in a cave in South Africa. They found 15 partial skeletons and termed it as the largest ever discovery of primitive human remains in Africa. The remains were revealed to be part human and part ape. The researchers have even named these species, calling it Naledi, who could be a, quote, bridge between the humans and the apes. There is even evidence that they may have been capable of ritual behavior, seen only in modern humans millions of years earlier than previously thought. Ancient Mass Graves of Child This could be one of the saddest discoveries made. In 2018, researchers from Peru discovered a massive grave in the northwest of the country. At first, you might think, so what? Well, experts found compelling evidence showing that the victims have been part of a ritual sacrifice that took place nearly 550 years ago. They were able to find remains of more than 100 children from the ages of 6 to 15 which could make it one of the largest child sacrifice rituals in the world. Dogs in Blue Looks like dogs have finally started catching up. Researchers in the Russian city of Nizhny Novograd are still trying to get answers as to how a number of these dogs have blue hair. Since they were found near an old chemical plant, they thought it to be the reason. The vets found them to be healthy even with their unusual hue. To solve the mystery, the vets began ordering more tests, including a toxicology report on the hair. Just by their new color, a lot of people started adopting these little bundles of joy. An ancient puppy found. Looks like this poor thing froze to death. In the summer of 2018, Researchers found this frozen puppy in the eastern Siberian region of Yakutia. Since the permafrost remained for thousands of centuries, the body of this puppy remained perfectly preserved, with its teeth and fur intact. Researchers were able to confirm that the puppy had been frozen for about 18,000 years, making it to be the oldest canine discovered in the area. It is not sure if this puppy is a wolf or dog, or some prehistoric ancestor. The true nature of the creature is still unknown, and researchers are trying to find answers. 
lizards that play games. These lizards have found more than one way to get the girl. Researchers, upon collecting samples in the rolling hills near Los Banos, south of San Francisco, made this fascinating find. They found male lizards in three different colors, orange, blue, and yellow. It's all about territories, as you can see in the clip. Male lizards often do push-ups as a warning to back off others. Oranges are bigger in size and hold large territories focusing on more than a single female, while blue have smaller territory focusing on a single female, and yellow have none, but use stealth to find unaccompanied females. Mostly, the yellow males are successful as orange males have a divided attention, while the blue males are more vigilant and chase the yellow males away. Their different strategies keep each other in check making the system stable. Green Balls Cover Beach What could those giant spongy balls be? Or more importantly, how could these perfectly shaped green balls appear out of the blue? In 2014, hundreds of green balls got washed up on the Sydney beach, causing curiosity and confusion among the residents. Researchers were able to identify these squishy little spheres as Marimo a living green algae that rolled around on the sea floor, resulting in the ball shape. They were 6 to 30 centimeters in diameter and didn't have a core. And now let us move on to our open discussion topic of the day. While looking for new insect species, a researcher out in the forest picked up what he thought was an unusual looking stick insect. But upon close examination of the creature, it turned out to have a human face. This clip, according to the researcher, shows a bit about the fascinating tidbits about their development starting from eggs. Could this be a real-life Groot? Well, no one knows, since the original founder anonymously revealed the picture on the internet, and even its location of origin or any details are unknown. Star Jelly Definitely not a moisturizing gel. This gelatinous substance is sometimes found on grass or even on branches of trees. According to researchers, this grayish-white gelatin appears on the Earth during the meteor showers and disappears soon after falling. Numerous theories regarding the true nature of this creature range from it being the remains of frogs, toads, or worms to the byproducts of cyanobacteria. The mystery of this gel-like substance is unknown and nobody has been able to explain, while researchers are still trying to find answers. Starling Murmuration Now this is indeed a fascinating sight to observe. A man from an unknown location captured this footage of some starlings in the middle of a murmuration ritual. The ritual involves these birds flying around in massive groups, vocalizing the sound from their wings. They are dancing in patterns over the sky without colliding. Researchers are still trying to find answers as to why they do that, maybe to catch up with each other about their day, or share notes on good feeding areas, or even make it hard for potential attackers, as targeting one bird in the flock of thousands would hypnotize the predator. If you have any information, do let us know and feel free to comment down to share your opinion about this creature. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again!